I can't tell you that I we can't do anything other than put our prayers out for uh, the families, the students in the school, and this community. Um, it's just a heartbreaking tragedy. What we do know at this point is that every single law enforcement entity in Broward County is on the scene, including the FBI. Uh, there are fatalities that are involved. We can't confirm the number at this point. I am in communication with um, Sheriff Scott Israel. I'm going to meet with him now. I um, have been in, in communication with the governor. Um, everyone is providing um, the full support that they can. Um, it, unconfirmed uh, reports now, but we believe that the shooter has been apprehended. Um, and so we're, we're trying to just work through all the details at this point. Can you tell me the scenario we're hearing is this uh, former student entered the freshman building? Is that your understanding? I don't know the details of where the student entered, but we do know that it occurred during dismissal time. Um, and yes, it is, is potentially is some former student. Um, don't have a name yet. I can't release any information to you. Uh, but that individual, we, we believe, is in custody at the moment. We hear a high number of casualties. Are you getting any indication from the sheriff just how many people may have uh, died? Can't confirm the number at this point, but there are fatalities involved here. Can you tell us at least how many transports? Do you know maybe a I, dozen? I don't know the number that's been transported at this point. Uh, but again, there, there are numerous fatalities. It's a horrific um, situation. Um, it's just it's just a horrible day for us. And um, we got reports of multiple shootings. Can you confirm that? I'm sorry. What's that? that there were more than one shooter. Uh, no. At this point, we have no evidence that there's been more than one shooter. Uh, the individual, um, again, we believe is, is has been apprehended. I would leave it to the sheriff to provide you additional details around that. Just a run They saw a teacher who was dead. Is that confirmed by you? Teacher is a teacher. Um, I, the I believe there's an administrator um, or teacher that that is involved. There may be more. Um, I can't confirm if that's been one of the fatalities at the moment. Superintendent, this is a day I'm sure every superintendent fears, to, and to happen here in in Broward. Um, it's a day that you pray every day. I get up that we will never have to see. Um, it is in front of us, and I ask the community for your prayers, um, your support uh, for these children and their families. Um, it's We're going to do whatever we can to come together as a community to pull through this, and we will. And um, again, we're, we're doing everything we possibly can. Uh, the students are being uh, evacuated and released at the moment. Um, so we're working through that process right now. Are you aware of any indication, any warning, any hint that the student could have been planning? We've received no warning, no indication, but again, there's going to be a thorough investigation. Uh, typically, you see in these situations that there potentially could have been signs out there. I would be speculating at this point if there were. Uh, but we don't have, we didn't have any warnings. There weren't any phone calls or threats that we know of that were made. Superintendent, there's so many parents that are afraid, afraid to send their kids to school. What would you tell them out there? What I would say is that we cannot live um, in a world that's built on, on fear. Uh, we have to do what we can uh, to make sure that we provide the, the greatest safety measures we can for our kids. Um, but what I'll tell you is that uh, mental health uh, issues in this country are growing and they're a big challenge and it's something that's going to need to certainly be addressed uh, within our school systems as well as in the broader society uh, to ensure that these kind of tragedies don't continue. Um, we've got to be able to um, recognize individuals that are in, in distress um, that have uh, challenges and be able to find ways to, to support them. But um, our schools, uh, we do what we can to make sure they're as safe um, as they possibly can be for our children. And um, again, this is a day that we prayed would never be here at Broward County. Uh, but we're dealing with it and we're going to deal with it as a community. Uh, we'll pull through it. And, um, you know, my prayers and 
heartfelt sorrow goes out to uh, the, the families um, and this entire uh, community. Those comments about mental health and stress, are they speculation on your part, or do you have some information no, I, I, about who is responsible? And do you know well, that all that I would say is that... Other than the you, obvious. Other than the obvious, that's correct. No, I don't... No sane person that's... Well, just is going to go and commit such a, 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 an atrocity. So I would I would say that it is something that we have to deal with. But it's not based on your knowledge of... It's not based on my knowledge of anything regarding the individual who committed this, but... Um, I, I know it's a challenge and it's something that we've been certainly trying to deal with um, throughout uh, Broward County and throughout this nation, but you know, we're going to have to step up our efforts on that. With, the, with someone in custody, so the rest of the students, hundreds of them are being evacuated right now, right? That's correct. The, 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 yeah, they're clearing buildings out. They're doing it in an orderly manner to make sure that's safe. Um, so again, there's an uh, enormous presence of law enforcement. Um, here and they're assisting in the evacuation process and as we West speak. Glades, West Glades right next door, the middle, students, the middle school, the middle school, those st students still inside or have they yeah, been they were on lockdown? Uh, they are probably going through an evacuation process as well. Um, we have students we know that are coming from um, some of our uh, middle, middle schools like Nova where they typically may get dropped off here. Uh, we have them being dropped off at another school site and we're notifying our uh, parents. On a typical afternoon, what do these presence and security presence is on these um, Every high school in this county has uh, police presence at the high school, so there were officers on, on the um, school site at all times. Do you know for certain how many or where? Uh, there typically are at least two, um, two cars of law enforcement individuals on, on our campuses on a daily basis. Resource officers, are they called? They're, they're, school, they're called school resource officers. That is correct. Superintendent, was the shooter just contained to that one building? Do you know? Did he go into another building? Um, don't know the path or or exactly how um, the, the um, shootings occurred. Where so. were you when you got that phone call and your heart had your throat? So today has been day of enormous mountains and valleys. I was leaving Monarch High School where we were giving the teacher of the year keys to a brand new Toyota Camry um, that was that she won from being a teacher of the year in Broward County. We were celebrating our teachers, our schools, and uh, got in the car. And as I'm driving back to the office, I start seeing communication and I hear from staff um, that we may have a tragedy, and that's so. I literally have come from giving the teacher of the year a car and celebrating our teachers and our, our district to where I am right now. The deadliest school shooting in Broward County ever. That's what it appears to be. I'm so sorry. Thank you so Thank much, you, Superintendent, for updating us. There you just heard it from Superintendent.